is the eye-hand coordination. Our eyes are constantly scanning the environment. We gather visual information. Much of what we see is changed, interpreted, or conceptualized in ways that depend on a person's training, mindset, and past experience. Most of it is not conscious. We tend to see what we expect to see. Learning to see through drawing makes for a more direct kind of seeing. The left side of the brain can be very annoying in interfering our attempts to draw. Its constant chatter will not stop, and we simply have to deal with that. As soon as we give the right side a job to do, we allow this, the left side of the brain to shut up. Be aware of what your left side of the brain is telling you about what you are drawing. It will criticize, analyze, rationalize, and trying to put into words what you are doing. Just keep on drawing, and the talking eventually will stop. The five perceptual skills of drawing are the edges, which is lines and contour. That's the first step we do always. Then we start with the spaces, the negative, the positive shapes. The third one is the relationships, which gives the perspective and proportion. I look at all the relationships. So it is contour, but it still has relationships from point to point. You can even say, if you have that right, that this is a negative shape. So but I you're not drawing it, it's just there. It's really the relationship between this point to this point, from this to here to here. Then the fourth one is the lights and shadow, which creates the value and gives the object a body. And then the fifth one is the whole of the thing, is really put everything together in uh, the context. Art adds two more, drawing from memory and drawing from imagination. But that's about all you need to learn to make a good drawing.